So now we're going to look at uh, this circuit here. So I uh, got a 555 timer there, and with this trim pot, I can adjust where the uh, servo is going. Now, of course, this plastic piece can uh, pop off, and you can move it to uh, point in any direction you want. But ultimately, after you pop it on, its movement depends on where it is being told to move to. And this appears to be the range of motion that I have. So now we're going to take a quick look at the schematic dry diagram that I drew. And again, you can buy units that do does this for you automatically. You don't have to build it yourself. But uh, we got the servo, so SG90 right there. So it, over a period of uh, 20 milliseconds, you keep getting a pulse. And you do that steadily to tell it where to go. And uh, the pulse is between about 1 to 2 milliseconds out of a total of 20 milliseconds. You know, approximate. And uh, so 555 timer, it's really easy to make uh, pulses like that. So if you want a shorter high period than the time is low, you use less resistance, as you can see there. And uh, we got a lot more resistance when it comes to discharging the capacitor. So the output times that are high are going to be a lot shorter than the output times that are low. We have a trim pot, though, so that we can adjust it. Because, again, the position depends on how wide that pulse is. So now, when it comes to the uh, servo, we'll zoom in right there. You power the servo with, uh, you know, whatever power supply you're using. You're just getting a signal from whatever gives you the signal to control it. In this case, it's a 555 timer that we can adjust with a trim pot. So you can see that there. So the uh, brown is a negative supply, red is positive supply, and orange is the signal. So you can see over here that I actually have uh, orange going to uh, green right there. And negative supply, the blue jumper, and then uh, the uh, red jumper to the positive supply. So you can see we got our signal coming from the output pin three, uh, negative supply, and then positive supply to power this uh, directly. And I appear to need at least probably about an amp of current, but I bumped it up to 1.5 amps just to be safe. So now again, the uh, position of the servo depends on uh, pulses. So I zoom back for those uh, watching the shorts, we'll uh, come closer. And uh, those pulses are coming from the 555 timer. We need about 20 milliseconds low and only one to two milliseconds uh, high right there, those uh, pulses. So, um, well, we are high. We got less resistance here. We can go down to 4,000 ohms of resistance if I set the trim pot to zero ohms and the diode for charging the capacitor. Or I can make it so it's uh, 14,000 ohms of resistance. So that's how we vary the uh, pulse length. And then uh, the discharge time is always going to be the same, but it's going to give us about 20 uh, milliseconds since the uh, servo is working. So yeah, you can see that right there. 1K resistor, and then the uh, trim pot variable voltage, and then the uh, 3K resistor coming to the diode to charge the uh, capacitor there. And then when the output goes low, the capacitor discharges through that 100K resistor. Any current going this way also goes to ground. So now we got the 555 timer controlling the servo. And I zoom back if you're watching the short, but uh, yeah, there's our uh, physical circuit. I just have to move the trim pot and that uh, determines the servo position right there. And I'm a little bit limited on how far I can turn the uh, trim pot. The servo won't uh, keep turning the entire time um, at a certain range. But in any case, this is how I determined how much current I'm going to need. So it looks like for this total circuit, at least uh, 0.7 amps, 700 milliamps. No matter how fast I turn the trim pot, um, I don't see CC pop up there. Now, 0.6 amps, it's uh, kind of tough, I think. But uh, I can turn it fast enough. There we go, I saw CC briefly. So looks like it's uh, just kind of borderline enough power, but uh, I don't ever want to see CC. That's the maximum current in case I short circuit something, will only get 0.7 amps, but it has to be higher than what the load is gonna need.